Uh, we do have still have about 12 or 13 saloons here in town that uh, people that are from the area all know too well, I'm afraid, and, uh, but it's fun. Unfortunately, some of the laws we have at this point uh, in this state are behind some of the other states. The production restriction is a no-brainer. Um, there's absolutely no logical argument why we should be restricted and how much beer we can sell and produce in Nevada. Um, and we'll get that across this session, I'm sure. It's just a stupid arrow. It's like such a small accomplishment today, right? But it's one of those things that, that brought us to where we are today. And trying to fly across Nevada, you know, without uh, good compasses and without good maps uh, was a real challenge. I was out here hiking with my family and uh, we just happened to come upon it without really a clear understanding of what it was. You have to film this one because I'm guaranteed to fall at least once on this trail. You can't cheat any of your energy forward and back because yeah. you'll never stick this landing. Nice! Nailed it! The formula never really changes. Um, we're always, I get kind of bored. So the, the workouts always change and that's one thing that Max is really good at is creating new unique movements all the time. Bob was not only a loving husband, but he was a great father to Mary's three daughters. And Bob's legacy lives on here at Arlington. On behalf of the President of the United States, the United States Air Force and a grateful nation, please accept this flag as a symbol of this nation's appreciation of your loved one's honorable and faithful service. Thank you. What Bob got was the top, and our response was, well, of course, that's how it should be. <laughs> our, our hero, always and forever. Would you like to help support our disabled veterans today? And don't be scared of the camera, come on. It started with a boat. <laughs> Well, we raffled off the boat, the guy won it, gave the boat back to us, and it took us three months to sell the boat. Nobody wanted to buy it. And then from there, it's grown to what it is today. Frank's always out there hustling, really helping out the DAV. It was a hell of a lot hotter in Vietnam. It's what I do. You know, I have a purpose in the morning. I have a reason to get up, because I know out there somewhere there's a veteran that needs assistance or needs my help, and I want to be there when that time comes. Motel. This place exists because of a man by the name of Leroy David. Uh, he owned this property and him and his sister. Their father was buried in the old cemetery here, Clarence David. In the early 1900s, <clears throat> they had a plague from Europe. That, uh, and a lot, of the, a lot of the miners, you'll see on the gravestones, a lot of the miners died from the plague. So. Uh, those first few years were pretty rough in Tonopah, Pond. Most of the people were buried there. This is me, this is him. Um, we got ambushed, got caught in an ambush, and I was carrying a radio. And uh, he was keeping the Viet Cong off of me so I could call in air support. But they got him just just after I made the, the call to air, to get an air support, they, they killed him and shot the radio off my back. Me and this guy right here, Philip Phelps, are the only two that made it out. I should be up there. I'm sorry, Jimmy. I'll be up there pretty soon. Gotta keep your eyes on my finger, all right? Some of the accidents we respond to that are completely unnecessary, some single vehicle accidents, some that aren't, that, you know, people are impaired, it's, uh, it's just sad. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. You'll see families that are affected by it. You'll see people that, you know, die or seriously injured um, that weren't driving impaired, or even the people that are driving impaired. You'll see them hurt, seriously injured, sometimes killed, and it's uh, it's a waste of a life. There's no reason for it. So I'm going to be placing you under arrest for DUI, all right? We're Brett Butler in the Reno Aces. Adam Eaton, our pregame guest, will DH and lead off. As long as I can remember, I listen to baseball on the radio. 
And my mom will tell you that uh, before that, they would have a game on TV, and I would sit there and I would try to imitate, not the players necessarily, but the announcers. Swings and hits this one in the air towards right center field. Long run for everybody towards the alley. That's down for a base hit. Davidson trying for third. Here's the throw. He slides in, saved with a triple. And the Aces have tied the ball game at one. There's that old saying about, I, I saw it on the radio. And, and I want people to have that feeling. Um, I probably don't get there all the time, but that's what I strive for every single night when I go on the air, be it baseball, football, basketball. If somebody can't be at the game, if the team is on the road, I want them to feel like they were able to see the game through what I gave them. All right, Jake, I'll see you. All right, see you. have fun. Being able to go to Washington with this group of guys like this and see the memorials that were built there for the, all the veterans, it's gonna be an long and interesting trip. Welcome aboard. We have a, a special, uh, set of folks on board. It's an honor flight if you haven't figured that out and it's a thrill to have all of you with us. Thank you for serving. My, my dad was a veteran too and he died this year so it's, uh, it was real moving. It's my second honor flight so uh, it just meant a lot to me. I think it's wonderful as an ex-policeman, you know, it's an honor for us. Because it would take us twice as long, or three times as long, to get anywhere without this, and what a schedule we have today. We got no welcome home at all, and we hid our service from everyone. I'm willing now to uh, accept it and and come come out of the closet, so to speak. Porter. A long time ago, it wasn't the way it should have been. They didn't recognize the military, and I really think that people got it in their minds that that was wrong, and it's almost a guilt thing, where they're coming back and saying, you know, we didn't do it right, let's do it right, and they are really doing it right. Sure didn't expect that. I thought Baltimore was something, but uh, we even got the marching band out, and a lot of loving people out there.